The Callista Protocol is a great game. Unfortunately, it suffers from black level rates, not just in HDR, also in SDR with the wrong in-game settings. I had many people commenting on my last videos and many of them are recommending to force RGB Limited on my TV to get perfect black levels. The problem is, there is a very simple reason why I do not recommend to do that. So don't get me wrong, forcing RGB Limited on the TV, on my OLED TVs, it is a big improvement compared to the original washed out HDR picture. There is no doubt about that. The problem is you will kill your specular highlights. And kill is most likely the wrong word for this, but it will destroy, it will change your specular highlights. Not in terms of maximum peak brightness, because the maximum peak brightness will be still the same you will just have less fine details and specular highlights because yeah, with forcing limited on your TV over RGB full signal, you will have a lot of clipping in specular highlights. And those examples, what you can see right now are just a few out of many. I can find issues in any HDR game when you force RGB limited over RGB full. What you can see right now on your screen is not even close to what I can see with my own eyes. When I compare RGB limited with RGB full in HDR games, there's a big, big difference in terms of details in specular highlights. And the brighter and the bigger the specular highlights are, the easier it is to see actually the loss in details. Especially with this example, it is very, very clear that forcing limited over RGB full is not a good solution. And that's the main reason why I do not recommend to force RGB limit over RGB full signal to mitigate or to try to avoid black level rays in games, especially HDR games. But that's not the only reason why I do not recommend it. The next reason is we don't know actually what is wrong with the game, why we have black level rays. By forcing RGB limited on the TV, you can have also black level crush because maybe now you're actually yeah, showing to less information in darker areas or you can still have black level rays, maybe just minor black level rays, but it can be still there. And also many people are actually saying that forcing RGB limited over RGB full is a much quicker solution than actually changing the fine tune dark area settings. But to be very honest, no, it's actually not, at least not on my OLED G2. And then also I had a couple of comments and people recommending to actually disable VRR on the console to avoid black level rays, but VRR or variable refresh rate was never a problem for HDR black level rays. This is something complete different. What people talking about is VRR flickering, but this has nothing to do with the race black levels in HDR games. But now the question is of course, why is RGB limited actually clipping details? And I have something prepared here for you to explain to you why without going into much details, okay? So let's just assume this is our signal, what we getting from the PlayStation 5 sent to our TV, RGB full, okay? So there's all the necessary information for the picture, for the game, from the game, including the wrong black level rays, okay? So now we're forcing RGB limited on our TV and what we're doing is actually we cutting we're cutting parts off from our signal. That is what is happening. And now you can actually understand why we now suddenly have a much better black level details or black level picture in terms of picture because we're not showing all the details anymore from RGB full. But the problem is here as well. We're just cutting off details. Keep in mind that the maximum peak brightness will still be the same because the TV now thinks that this here is my maximum peak brightness and this is my bl uh, perfect black level or zero black. But you will lose, of course, a lot of information here. It's good that we lose the information here on this end, but it's not good that we lose the information on this end. And I really hope after this video you understand why I do not recommend to use RGB limited on your TV. And I just, don't get me wrong, 
it is a solution actually in my opinion of course to avoid black level race but you will have also disadvantages if you don't care about these disadvantages then go for it because i'm not here to tell you how to play the game it is absolutely up to you because you must enjoy it you need to enjoy it not me i like to enjoy the games with not forcing rgb limited on it okay so i like to use Define tune dark area settings, but I, I, I need to rephrase this because I don't like to use define tune dark area settings, but it looks like we have to do this in almost every game, which is a, it's a very bad thing. But on the other hand, what videos should I do then? If everything would be perfect, I wouldn't have a YouTube channel. Anyway, what I'm missing really is quality control in games. I can live with different HDR settings in games. There's no problem at all because um, that's how it is. But with something like that, which is in my opinion a bug, it's a, f it's a fail, it's a, how should I say, it's just not correct. It should be fixed immediately because this is not a design decision from the um, developer or something like that. That's really a bug in the game and it is in so many games unfortunately not sure what's going on but please developer whoever is seeing this if you like to yeah get an idea if hdr is good in your games just send me a review code i have no problem before you release the game to check actually hdr out for you i would much appreciate it actually thank you very much for watching me i see you next time bye